Car versus insect, never an even match. Windscreens, bumpers and number plates, the graveyard of billions of bugs over the years. Certainly when I was a kid, almost every long journey required a bowl of soapy water at the end to scrub the windscreen of squished bugs. Nowadays, though, that doesn't seem so much of a problem. So a unique project plans to use splats on car number plates to work out what is happening to our insects. I came by train, but Chris, the cameraman, kindly cleaned his uh, reg plate this morning and has now driven 70 miles. So what do we do next? Well, we've got our splatometer. So we need to put our splatometer over there and count see how many bugs he's hit on his journey. So just the area inside this little grid, and then we count the number of insects. They log on to the app that they've downloaded, and that gives us a lot of really useful data. The Bug Life Charity and the Kent Wildlife Trust have already compared a 2004 survey to 2021. Insect numbers had dropped by almost 60% in those 17 years. It's re really, really, really frightening and terrible because we depend on these insects for pollinating our crops, pollinating our wildflowers, keeping our rivers clean, feeding the birds that we enjoy. So without that important layer of organisms, the whole ecosystem is at risk. The causes? A killer combination of habitat loss, pesticide use and a warming climate. We can do stuff in our own gardens, no mow may, for instance, leave those dandelions for the pollinators to enjoy. But really, obviously, this is about big change in the countryside. This is about government taking responsibility and making sure that landowners and farmers are rewarded for putting back those wildflower-rich meadows into the countryside. There's all sorts of stuff which just isn't happening adequately now. We know it's not happening, and government needs to step up and really take that action and fix the environment so the populations start to recover. By downloading the Bugs Matter app, anyone can contribute to the next survey this summer. And having more data will strengthen the case for urgent action to halt the decline of our insects. Catherine Jones, 5 News, Peterborough.